Hey everybody, I made it back to Soggy, Washington. <laughs> uh, that trip really took it out of me. I, if I could do it over, I would have done it differently. I, I thought it would have been a quick flight there, a quick flight back, easy peasy. And it, it really was hard on me. I, I, was, I was down for the last 36 hours or so. Just uh, resting and recuperating. And now I'm doing fine. My energy is back for the most part. My body is just a little bit sore now. Uh, <laughs> I was hoping to be able to leave yesterday to head south. <laughs> but um, no, I didn't think that I had the energy to do that. So we're leaving today. So we're pretty, I'm pretty excited about leaving Washington now. Um, I do love it here, but it's uh, cold and rainy. That's why people leave during the winter. Um, Olive is going to be quite sad, and I am too. Part of me is sad to leave. But uh, once we get to the desert and we're able to spend more time outside and we get to be around dog friends and people friends, Olive will be, will be very pleased. <laughs> We are on our way south right now. We're on the five. We're still in Washington, but uh, nearly in Oregon. And I just have to say what lucky, what a lucky person I am and what a lucky dog Olive is to have a friend like Seal. Uh, Olive has spent almost all of the pretty much the entire summer and fall at Seal's house, with sometimes spent at Terry and Scott's and a little bit of traveling around. But for the most part, Olive has been at Seal's house since May. And uh, we're just so grateful and, uh, and lucky to have her. I don't know what we would have done without her. She was just so welcoming and, and tolerant and loving. And we're just, I don't know what else to say. Just very thankful. Hey everybody, we are in Bend, Oregon, and uh, this is the Deschutes River. As you can see, uh, there's always a lot of activity in this part of the river. Uh, and, well, in the summer, they, they go down it in um, tu tubes, inner tubes, and uh, they also surf here in these rapids. Uh, but right now, it, it looks like they're doing some sort of cleanup effort, or I'm not sure, but they are uh, snorkeling and pulling out, I don't know what they're pulling out. Um, but anyway, <laughs> uh, yesterday we were in Portland and uh, we met up with uh, our friend Michelle 
and she took uh, me out for delicious donuts and chai tea and then we all took a hike up a volcano so it was pretty cool thanks Michelle uh, I'm taking it pretty slowly not much driving because last time headed back from uh, Chicago I, I pushed it too far too many days in a row and I'm, I feel like I'm just starting to recover now from it uh, I was tired for a week sore for a week uh, I forgot to tell you guys that uh, the doctor's visit he said that everything looked great they did they do an x-ray every time I'm there and he said it was healing very well everything was good and I also forgot to tell you I think I told you these things but I, I left them out of the video uh, don't send please don't send anything else to the PO box in uh, River Forest in Illinois I closed that box I will I have done a address forwarding just in case uh, some you know some letters or anything show up but please do not send anything else to that address I will try to figure out a new one once I figure out where I'm gonna be <laughs> and uh, but for now uh, please don't send anything and uh, yeah it's nice weather here as you can see the sky is blue the Sun is kind of partially out got chilly last night but um, it's a decent temperature now. I'm just used to wearing my winter coat now. I actually could have a lighter coat on. But today we... Well, there's two options. I can go straight over to Nevada and drive down Nevada, basically. Or I could cut through the upper part of California, then into Nevada, like Reno area. Haven't decided. Uh, one route is quicker. The other route has more camping options. So I'll let you know. And look at that beautiful mural. And this area is called the Old Mill District. And I think that's the Old Mill right there. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Olive, enjoy the grass while you can, going to the desert. <laughs> All along this fence here are hops, and uh, obviously it's past the season, so they're dried now. And when you take one in your fingers and smush it, and smell it, Mmm, it smells like a really hoppy IPA. It smells wonderful. Olive, are we at the dog park? Where are we? Is that a dog park? <laughs> Do you want to go play? Bend, Oregon has a lot of parks along the river, which I think is great. This is called River Access dog park, I believe. Uh, this is the small dog area that we're in right now. And then beyond that is the large dog park. Um, and actually, and then beyond the large one, there's the, the river and there's an area that's fenced off where you can bring your dog in and still be fenced, which is pretty cool, but we won't be doing that today. It's not quite warm enough to go in the river and we have to get in the van and drive today so when we come to parks like this olive mostly just wants to sniff she'll spend a good half an hour just sniffing everything she's that's her terrier in her she's a sniffer you know them. yeah now she's just sitting there well this might be it for the dog park today but <laughs> at least we tried well, I didn't force her, but we came into the big dog area. So far, she's just sniffing, and none of the other dogs are paying any attention to her. So, let's see how it goes. Olive. Olive. Busy sniffing. So, <laughs> let's get on the road. We're saying goodbye to Ben. This place is always good to me. I haven't lost... Uh, my affection for this place. Still love it here. We'll be back.